In March 2022, we embarked on an adventure of a lifetime. One of our bucket list items was to visit the small Central American country called Costa Rica. This was a dream come true for both myself and Claire, and we were both extremely excited to get on the plane and go and visit this amazing tropical exotic place. Stay tuned to see the type of things that we got up to on this trip. This is Claire, she's from Sheffield. And this is me, Andy, I'm from Tarn. We are husband and wife and come from a place many call God's country, Barnsley. The great thing about living in Barnsley is there's always somewhere different to be. This is where this beast of a man comes in. This is our self-converted camper van, St. Christopher of Atlantis. Talk about beasts, this is our wolf Pablo. He comes with us as our security. Having this van has made me the master of my universe. I can go wherever Claire says I can go when she says I can. If anyone can better that, then let me know in the comments section. Anyway, here's some stuff we did. After a cool flight over the Atlantic, we started to soak in the sights and sounds of Costa Rica. We arrived quite refreshed because of the time difference it felt like the beginning of the day, the sun was shining and we went through the colourful streets of Costa Rica to our accommodation. We met many things along the way, started to see the different sights and sounds and breathe it all in. We arrived in March and it's almost like a reverse winter. On many of the trees there aren't any leaves as the trees try to preserve water. Just before the sunset, we got treated to our first sighting of how the monkeys. And we also got treated to the first amazing sunset. In the morning, we woke up early as we did most mornings. And we got to listen to the sounds of the jungle all around us and the howler monkeys. The mornings were our favorite time in Costa Rica. And if you got up early enough, you were rewarded with some of the most fantastic wildlife. On the first day, we headed over to Rio Celeste in our car to see the turquoise colored waterfall. To get to the waterfall, we had to hike, a very easy hike through the rainforest. We were looking out for snakes and frogs and sloths. We did see a sloth, we didn't get a picture of it. So this is the entrance to Rio Celeste and there's an amazing walkway all the way down to the waterfall. Because we arrived so early, it wasn't that busy. When you first see the waterfall, it really does take your breath away. The colours on the video don't quite do it justice to what it looks like in real life. We were both pretty much awestruck by it. bubbles in the water that you can see it from the thermal do bars that they have down there because the volcanoes don't know the name still cool another youtuber there bringing a massive sheet of polystyrene that really added to everything thanks for that pal The river's the colour it is because of the mixture of two minerals from two separate rivers. As you walk around, you can see where the two rivers meet. If that myth about 
the dye that they put in the swimming pool when you have a wee is real. I'd imagine that's what it looks like. We were lucky that it didn't really rain in the rainforest, although as you get to this altitude, the weather does change from down by the beach. It's very hot in March down by the beach, but up in the mountains, it's about 21 degrees centigrade. Sometimes walking through all this stuff, it was like walking through the houseplant section of B&Q. I recognised a few of them. If you're watching in America, it's called Lowe's. Retreated to another beautiful sunset. I wasn't feeling very friendly that holiday, even though the man in the red shirt tried to reach out. The mornings were the best time, as I said, and we used to get up and walk down the beach to catch the wildlife. Here's a shot of some midges. quite sure if she was fed up with the midges or just me talking to her. Oh, the tide's out. We spent many hours just looking at the howler monkeys in the trees. It's amazing how they are alike us, especially Claire. One thing that I would say is that looking at photographs of the beaches of Costa Rica, it doesn't look amazingly special. But being on the beach in Costa Rica is a totally different experience. I think everybody aspires to sit on a white beach, turquoise waters, which is what we did when we visited the Maldives and Zanzibar. They are beautiful beaches but the beach in Costa Rica, knock out. This is one of my favorite wildlife shots that we got, the iguanas, squirrel, and some pigeons. That's a combo nature shot if ever I've seen one. favourite birds, I think the parakeets, they were all down the beach. You see them? So after some rest and a couple of beers we got up the next day and got back in our car and decided to explore the area. We visited Tamarindo which we didn't think was that special, it's a tourist town, it's fine but not really for us. The best bit about it was this horse. This church. This is a cool beach, can't remember quite where this was. Cool little bar to have a drink. Claire was talking to me about something, I can't remember what it was. I didn't know at the time really. This is our favourite little area for a drink. A little coffee shop that we found. And you can sit and watch, guess what, more monkeys. 
At one point we thought that fruit was dropping from the trees around there, but actually it turned out just a monkey going to the toilet. That's a highlight of the trip. found a place called the Monkey Bar and that was down the dirt road. If you have a look at the dollar in the background you can see our dollar bill that we put up there. If you find it send us a picture. I think what happens is they just take them off at the end of the day and put them in the back pocket. This is a really cool place called The Lookout. It was actually on Netflix. can't remember what it was called. It's on my continue watching list. It's that big, I can't find anything on it. Beautiful view out towards the ocean. Food was great and the staff in there were absolutely brilliant. So we toyed with the idea of going diving or snorkeling. We had a look at this picture that we decided not to. So instead we got back in the car, furthest place away from great white sharks that we could get and we decided to take a river trip. We organised this from the guy on the beach, absolutely brilliant don't really take deposits to give you the word you turn up it's all sorted pura vida we saw lots of stuff down this river trip it's only gentle rapids we were more scared than anything but she did really good lots of Jesus Christ lizards that can run on water, we saw bats, we saw monkeys, anybody that's worried about snakes in Costa Rica, there weren't any that we saw, well there are some but we just didn't see them, and some biscuits and some water, that was nice. So this was quite rough for Claire, but luckily I've been to Alton Towers. I didn't find it too difficult, pretty experienced at it. Lots of iguanas. Cows, always good to see. Claire got off and had a walk around the bank. Oh, sorry, they're capuchin monkeys. Like the one that Ross had on Friends. But I don't think these are as tame. So we successfully dodged the great white shark, but then we were told that there were crocodiles in this river. I think this one's called Lucy. Nice name for a predatory animal. On the last night we were treated to this, which was fantastic. Uh, 
there's a turtle conservation place on the beach and some turtle eggs had hatched and they were releasing them into the sea on our last night which was the perfect end to the perfect holiday. really hope that some of these guys made it. I know that they don't have a high survival rate and to see them when they go in the sea makes them look really, really vulnerable. But I'm sure some of them are still out there. Costa Rica ranks as one of our best trips ever. Uh, as I say, it Pictures never ever do it justice. You've got to go and experience the sounds and the people, and everything. It's really recommended. So, here are the things that didn't make it into the video. We had some beers, I watched a lot of insects, and we had a bit of a farm party. We also got caked in mud which stunk and were disgusting and I don't think we'd do that again but overall one of the best places we've ever been until next time we'll see you later <laughs>